keep swimming. Okay. All right. We love talking about fun things to do in our great state. And this weekend, you definitely don't want to miss the Durham Fair. There are plenty of fried foods, rides, and amazing entertainment, but this fair is uniquely Connecticut. Mm -hmm. It celebrates the state's agricultural history. Take a look. This cow is the creation of art student Adriana Wimler, and the folks here at the Durham Fair couldn't be more proud of her for it. And I never in my life dreamed that this was going to look like this. Absolutely not at all. I mean, I would go and visit every few days, and it just grew from these Betty Grable legs on up. <laughs> she was pretty incredible. Adriana, how did you know how to do this? Oh, um, I really didn't. It was just figuring out as I went. Emily Anino, the education coordinator for the Durham Fair, is honored that Adriana named the cow after her. Well, basically, I started with a wooden frame. I cut her out of wood, and then I layered on styrofoam and spray foam, and then covered it with uh, plaster bandages and then paper mache. Wow. Yeah. How long did this and take you? Um, 100 hours. For the eyes, I was going to get glass eyes, but instead, I used polymer clay and sculpted them and then bake them. And the tail came from the janitor at her school. A Mr. Paul brought in hair from his pony. So kids can actually come and she, they can milk a cow to see what it's like to milk a cow. I give it a try. Just squeeze it. Just squeeze it. Yep, just towards the bottom. And this cat, okay. That's pretty good. And I don't have to worry because I'm not hurting this cow. <laughs> the goal is to give families a real farm experience at the fair. This is the greatest fair ever, and we have, first off, 11,000 exhibits. We have over 1,000 animals, three barns filled with cows, pigs, llamas, sheep, goats, and you really get to get up close and personal with those animals and to see the smiles on the kids' face and even the adults. It's really quite remarkable. Debbie is one of 1,700 volunteers who help make it possible for the Durham Fair to welcome about 200,000 people every year. When you come, you'll learn about how it used to be at the Farm Museum. This is a 1924 Ford's and Tractor, uh, kind of like the first mass-produced tractor out there. It was developed by Henry Ford. Uh, this made tractors available to more of the farmers at a fairly reasonable cost. Bob Thody, the Farm Museum superintendent, shows me the hay press local volunteers restored in the off-season. Anybody comes on down to the Farm Museum, you'll see us actually making hay bales with it. It takes you back to the way it was done in the olden days. To really learn about the olden days, Bob has an idea. Yeah, I'll show you how to run a tractor. We start by cranking it. And I guess I'm ready to go. I'm going to drive. drive this? Yep, you're going to drive it. And it's a stick shift? Yep. Okay. There you go. Okay. And that's it. You take, you actually okay. take your foot right. All right. I'm going to go check out the rides in the tractor. There you go. Around the midway. I better not hit the Channel 3 car. I take a tractor tour through the midway as they were setting up for all the fun rides. Next, it's time to roll up to the barn where thousands of exhibitors are set to show off their unique talents and collections. We are up over 10,000 entries, which is actually really getting higher and higher for us, so that's exciting. From colonial dishes to toys and even old sewing patterns from the 80s, you can see some pretty unique things at the fair collected by regular folks. Yes, you do win money in addition to ribbons, and we we always talk about we think people would rather have the ribbon than the check because the ribbons at the fair really do mean a lot. You know, to win a blue ribbon at the Durham Fair really does, and we have people that, you know, hang them and keep them for posterity. This is the art section that is 75 and over, which is beautiful. You can see how gorgeous all of these uh, different art pieces are. And we do have one that was entered this year by an artist who is 103, and she just started painting three years ago at the age of 100. And she painted those and she beautiful, painted yellow, the beautiful purple pansies. yellow purple pansies. That's incredible. Yes. And it's this very inspiring. Section, it is very inspiring. If music is your inspiration, you'll find great entertainment here both Friday and Saturday night. We have fantastic entertainment, and right over here will be our main stage. And on Friday night, included in your ticket, you have Brothers Osborne, which was the CMA duo of the year that's going to be performing right here. Wow. And then on Saturday, we have Pat Benatar and her husband, Neil Geraldo, taking main stage, all included for $14, which is amazing. And kids under 11 are free. Plus, and also new this year is our Military Appreciation 
Monday. So on Sunday, military and veterans will be able to come to the fair for free. And we also are going to be having a USO show troop on main stage. So grab your cowgirls and cowboys and come on down to the Durham Fair. Don't forget to say hi to Emily on your way to the fried dough. Wow, you really hit that with your best shot. <laughs> They could get really great talent there, though. Unbelievable. And $13 Bad a ticket to get a concert, too. And fun fair fact, the first Durham Fair was in 1916. They missed two years for a war and one for a hurricane. And so this is actually the 98th annual Durham Fair. I believe it was World War II that they missed. All right.